Hello everyone. So uh, this week I've been very busy, all right? I've been on vacation. Uh, I've got basically half a day this week to make a Kerbal Space Program video for this Saturday, which for me is uh, tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm at a wedding. So I'm very, very busy this week, guys. So I didn't really have that much time to work on a Kerbal Space Program 2 video. So I thought, you know what? Let's do something extra special. Let's try and do another one of my Matt Plays KSP live and does a live commentary and tries not to mess everything up uh, in the mission and you guys get to see kind of what goes into doing a mission in real time I guess. I'm trying to do all this while starting to build my rocket because I don't want the video to go on too long but I get a lot of like comments and I just see a lot of like comments I guess about my channel speculating how long it takes me to make Kerbal Space Program videos and how much effort goes into them and you know how many takes does it take, how many reverts does it take etc etc so I thought why not you know I've not got much time to make a proper KSP video this week why not take the opportunity to uh, do this basically so you can see me do a mission in real time and that might give you a sense of kind of like how I play this game and how good my skills with a Z are so it's gonna be something nice and simple we're just gonna do a MUN mission because Again, don't want this mission to go on too long. And anything more ambitious than Bun, more likely to have things like quick loads, revert flights, and uh, I, I guess it'd be fun to show like that a bit, so you guys can see how I, how often I mess up if I ever mess up, <laughs> uh, which I do. I'm not gonna be that ar arrogant, but at the same time, I know it's gonna be a bit tedious if there's like loads of reverts and loads of quick saves because of the fact the mission's difficult, and you know, more complex missions more susceptible to bugs in this game so you know I thought just keep things nice and simple we'll do a nice simple MUN mission also I can't find anything in the menus for this game still okay so this is my basic ship setup I think I know I've forgotten all the things like solar panels and uh, parachutes and all that we'll sort that in a second but first things first I'm just gonna just build the basic craft so I'm gonna add a little separator there a little space of fuel tank down here, and then we can build a fairing base. And that's my vehicle. That's my ship. So we've got a launch escape system. We've got our Apollo-style crew module, to which we need to attach a couple of parachutes. Uh, there we are. Perfect. I added a little heat shield as well. We don't need one, obviously. There's no heating effects in the game just yet. But, eh, you know, we can, we can dream, eh? And then we're going to add some RCS. Boom, and then we need to add some electricity in the form of batteries. Just a couple will do. And a couple of solar panels. Stick those on like that. Perfect. And then for the lander, again, a couple of solar panels. A couple of batteries. And we'll add some lights on there as well. Just a little bit of a flare. We better add a ladder as well. Don't really need a ladder for the MUN, but uh, you know, better to have one for realism's sake. Oh, there we go. And uh, make sure that's the right way up. It is. Cool. I only put one on right, not two. Yep. Excellent. And then where are my lights? There's my lights. Stick one either side. Oop. Perfect. I think I've not forgotten anything. So let's now strut it all together. So we'll add... Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. Can't change my symmetry now with struts for some reason. <laughs> I love it when updates bring in new bugs. So there was just four there, four there. Uh, can I strut this up maybe a little bit higher? Just we've got that extra reinforcement. Really don't want this wobbling too much. <laughs> I think that's probably fine. There's no reason that this should wobble now, I think. So let's, uh, let's paint it first of all. So we're going to go for... Let's just go for neutral and then we can go and kind of paint. Actually, I quite liked the colour scheme by default, so let's go with the red and white. We'll keep the capsule silver, and then we'll paint... Oh! Yeah, no, that's good, yep. But we'll paint everything else to do with the mothership, red and white, and then for the lander, how about blue and white? Isn't that nice? Beautiful. And there. I've got a little separator there, because I don't think you can decouple with docking ports like you can in KSP-1. At least I know you couldn't initially. Maybe that's been fixed now. Someone in the comments, I'm sure, can let me know if that is the case and I didn't need to bother with the separator. But, you know, I don't want this mission to, like, be too at risk of lots of quick saves and quick loads. So let's just try and keep things as, you know, idiot-proof as possible. And 
Can we close off this fang? Fangs are still something I've not quite really got the hang of yet in KSP2. Does that work? No. Uh, has that closed properly? Who cares? Looks good. Looks normal. Fairing. We'll just go for a standard. Oh, I've coloured the engines now. Standard white fairing. Now for the rest of the rocket. We're going to keep things nice and simple. Let's put on... Ooh, so much choice. Let's go for a medium length tank. Don't know if that's too much fuel. Oh, whatever, it's fine. It doesn't really matter if I have too much fuel, ultimately. In fact, if anything, that's probably what I want. Make sure the mission definitely succeeds, you know? Uh, and then we'll go for a medium thing there. Two of the orange tanks. Where are they? There they are. One, two. Oops, I know they're not orange in this game now, but I will paint them orange as an homage. So everyone's favorite fuel tank from KSP-1. That looks pretty good. Where is my color scheme? There it is. We'll go for a nice orange base. Color the accent to be nothing, so then we can just make sure it matches. And that is beautiful. So as far as rockets go, I think that looks pretty nice. How are we doing for thrust rate ratio, though? Uh, oh, that's terrible. Is that it? 0.4 waffle? Well, that doesn't sound right. It's definitely the main sail than that. Better add some SRBs then. First, I should make sure all this staging is correct. Because we want that middle one to be kind of first, don't we? So like that. So like this. <laughs> it's still not real. Oh, no, yeah, that, that's worked. No, we, do, we want this one first. And then this one. And then the engines. We just manually do the engines. And then we want the launch escape systems staging to be kind of like that. Where is the launch case? It's that one. That can all go when the fairing goes. So it's there. So it's here. There we are. That's looking, it's looking really good. Let's stick some SRBs on, not those ones. One, two. And then we just need to add a little... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Nice. And then we'll just offset these. The offset tool is kind of rubbish in KSP2. You can't just offset to get things looking natural, but that's fine. And then we'll add some aerodynamics. We'll paint these white. Looks weird having them be orange. And then we'll probably need to add some separatrons as well. So where are those? Separatron. They're going to go boom. Oh, hang on. I just want two. There we go. Two-way symmetry. Boom. 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 And the other side. Boom. 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 Very nice. Now we're just going to add some struts. So we want some at the top here. And some down low here. And then we're going to just select something else. We can do symmetry change. And then we can have four-way... It's so dumb you've got to stack, strut vertical stacks like this. Uh, there. That should hopefully be enough. I don't think I've forgotten anything, have I? Do I have para I added parachutes? Yeah, solar panels. Yeah, cool. I think we're ready to go. Oh, no, hang on. <laughs> Do my staging. Can't forget that. There we go. And the main sail goes there. How is our thrust rate ratio now? 0.930. That can't be right. No, I refuse to accept that that's correct. Because this is, like, clearly... What engine is this? Did I put the right engine on? Amazing. We'll never know. Let's just put another main... Let's just put a mainsail on. Mainsail, mainsail, mainsail. No, yep, there we are. Oh, I put the wrong kind of engine on. That's why. That's not a mainsail. Oops! How's our thrust to weight ratio now, then? Have I just now got a massively overkill rocket? 1.5, okay, well, you know, it's going to go a bit faster now. <laughs> you guys get to see everything, all the, all, the, all the process I go through when designing rockets and being an idiot and getting stressed and placing the wrong kind of engine. Anyway, my staging is a bit messed up now, isn't it? Will it, will it like, light properly or will I just have to close all these stages? Oh, here we go, I can just minimize them. Here we go. 
Oh, look at that. Flying off the pad. We'll do a little space shuttle style turn. Does the SLS do a turn like that as well? I don't actually know. Probably should. <laughs> okay. And then we're just going to begin our gravity turn. We are absolutely hurtling through. Oh, I'm going to throttle down a little bit. <laughs> I don't, want to throttle, I don't want to tip over too aggressively because I feel like rockets are a bit more flip happy in KSP2 than KSP1, but that might just be me. I find that it's like the mammoth engine tends to like, I, whenever I use the mammoth engine in KSP2, my rockets always seem to flip over unless I've got massive tail fins. So I've actually stopped really using the mammoth engines now um, because of the fact that, uh, yeah, my rockets always seem to flip over with them. So I like using the mainsail now. Friendship ended with Mammoth. Mainsail is my best friend now. And there go our SRBs that we didn't actually need in the end. There we are. We are getting high above the clouds. Oh. Oh no. I can feel the rocket tipping. Can I save it? Yes, I can. It was all fine. I think we're high enough in the atmosphere now where we're not really at much risk of tipping anymore. Famous last words, I know. I've only got Tim C. Kerman. Where's everyone else? Oh, they're there. there they are. <laughs> oh. So now I've got to think of now I've got to think of something to talk about <laughs> whilst we're like ascending. God, this is a good-looking rocket. I'm happy with how this rocket turned out. I really hope it works, and I've got to revert the flight, and it'd be really embarrassing for the video. <laughs> Whew. Where are we doing for Delta V? Nearly. So I've been now just focusing. Oh, I've tipped over. I probably should have been a bit more upright at this point. We're still quite low in the atmosphere. Relatively, you know. It's fine. I think we've got more than enough Delta V, considering I didn't actually need those SRBs. Well, you know, you live and learn, don't you? So where are we now? Our apops is fairly high, and we're about to run out of fuel. So let's uh, stage. And stage again. And it's going to be this that basically carries us to orbit now. So we may as well just point this way. We're still fairly... We're still a bit low to be uh, thinking about removing our fairing or anything. We'll just keep this uh, angle of attack and just cruise. We're just watching our orbital speed. We just need to accelerate now to 2,300, sorry. Which we have enough of. We have enough delta V there. We've got 1,000 plus 1,000. We've got more than enough to reach orbit. Obviously, we've got to take air resistance into account, but at this altitude, it's not that big of a deal. There we are. Our apoapsis is now really high, so let's just put a bit more flat. In fact, slightly downwards, just we're putting a bit more emphasis in raising our periapsis rather than raising our apoapsis. There we are. Let's get to like 80 kilometers. That's a nice safe height. There we are. And we'll point prograde. Do a quick save, obviously, and then we'll uh, do some staging, I guess. We'll stage these. Perfect. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. Hey, there they go. <laughs> and uh, we'll separate that as well. There we go. And this, just visual inspection, looks okay. So do another quick save. Now all that detached okay. And then we'll just uh, time warp, I guess, until we're in space. Still just frantically checking everything. I suppose we can actually uh, deploy our solar panels, can't we? Oh, never mind, I guess we can't. <laughs> oh yeah, these light solar panels, you can't actually stage with the solar action group. There we go. Probably shouldn't have done that actually until we've done our docking reconfigura reconfiguration, just in case. But whatever, it's fine. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Nearly in space. I hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. <laughs> it's always a bit uh, difficult. I'm not a very good multitasker. So this was really a, a mistake, this video. But, you know, what can you do? Oh, here we are. We are now in space. We're going to do another quick save. And let's waste no time at all in reconfiguring our ship. Or should we do our orbital insertion burn first? You know, I like to live life on the edge. Let's just do it. So we, wanna, we want this to stay. Oh, I should, I should have set the impulse here to zero. Oh, I can change it. Nice. So... Here we go. So we want to set this thing as our pause. We want to set this thing as our target. Um. Hmm. 
I am controlling this ship, right? Yeah. Set. Set the. Set, the, set that as our target. Control from here. But I'm not even controlling that ship. Okay, hang on. Let's just do a quick save and a quick load. I think something's glitched there. Glitch number one! <laughs> uh, right, let's try that one more time. Set as target. Excellent. But we're now drifting like this inexplicably. So this is going to make things a bit more tricky. And why am I just spinning randomly? I want to point this way. Oh, it's still got auto ICS still enabled. <laughs> Don't worry, wasn't the game glitching out? Oh no, this is a disaster. Right, just point square on as I can. How do I just go up? Up. There we go, that. I just want to go up. Why is every thruster firing in every direction? Okay, this is a disaster. I just want to go up. So that's like there. There. Now we're going straight up. Excellent. <laughs> Not quite sure what happened there. Okay, now we're going to decelerate again. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh, I've got to add auto SAS on again. You know what? I'm just too stressed. We're just going to do the loud and lazy method. I know it's like kind of a bit not fair because this isn't how they would have done it in Apollo. But also the ships wouldn't have just randomly separated like they did in real life. So, you know, I feel like I'm justified here. I can I can sleep at night okay with this. That's bored. I'm gonna go away, Paige. I'm not out of fuel. Right. Uh... Again, it's saying control from here. I've got to do a quick save again and a quick load just to get the set as target. This is going well. Calculating collision course. I really hope this ship works, you know. <laughs> set as target. Awesome. And then we're going to turn on this and target. And we're going to control from here, which should be by default anyway, but, you know. And then, is this still our target, this thing? Set as target. Target. <laughs> Quick save, just in case. Oh, I need to enable this engine. <laughs> Will it work? I can't see anything. It worked! Excellent! Right, we are now reconfigured. So now we need to disable this. And is this engine still activated? Yes, it is. We're going to control from the lander cans perspective again. Awesome. Orbit. Prograde. Where are we? Where's our apoapsis? Huh. We're exactly the same distance from our... Ap oh, we're basically at apoapsis, are we? Okay, let's just quickly circularize now. Wow, I did that in the nick of time then, didn't I? Prograde 56. Hang on, let's just, let's just burn prograde. <laughs> let's just not waste our time with the maneuver node. Periapsis. Oh no, guys, this is a disaster! Absolute disaster. I failed to circularize in low Kerbin orbit. Oh, it's going to be a very eccentric orbit, but we're, we're okay. We're fine. Excellent. So, now I've, like, embarrassed myself completely. Let's continue on. We're going to create our maneuver plan. Drag on prograde. Let's just do that. Does that work? Yeah. Good enough. And then we can just... And then we can just click. And we just... And then, we could, and then we could just click the maneuver. So my hope was that we could just drag the maneuver into a better... Oh, it's so difficult. There we go. Uh, you know what? That looks fine to me. That looks fine. Awesome. So it's 860 meters per second, which uh, we do have. So we can do the entire burn with this stage. So we can actually make sure that this stage here crashes into the surface of the moon And save the solar bears and all that. Same, it's so dark. <laughs> you guys can see all this okay. I probably shouldn't have done all that critical stuff in the dark because I know YouTube's algorithm does make videos naturally darker anyway. Uh, so I do try and boost the brightness in my video editing software, but like if I've got a dark raw file to begin with, there is only so much brightening I can really do. I'm just gonna have a sip of water. Mm. 
Right. We are now 30 seconds away. Because I'm impatient, we're gonna, just going to speed up manually now. Oh. Let's go. Oh, that was a... That was a big wobble, wasn't it? <laughs> we don't have to do any sort of big maneuvers whilst burning the engine, though, so we should be good. That is a nice... I might take a little window screenshot there. That's beautiful. Now my oh, hang on. I've probably got... Oh, no, I've not got... Cross V, because there's a decoupler there. Huh. So I guess this Delta V readout was a lie. <laughs> Is there fuel in this tank? Oh, I can't even be bothered. I cannot be bothered, you know. Let's just decouple. Now we're going to control from here. Point towards the maneuver node. And while we're doing that, I'm going to activate. And then we will just press on. Doesn't that look beautiful? Oh, and hang on. Now my maneuver node thing is broken. So we'll have to just we'll have to do this the old-fashioned way, I guess. Just going to time accelerate a little bit. Don't want to do it too much because I'm aware there's a bit of a lag when it comes to like... Oh, my ship's spinning. Hang on. Stop, stop, stop. Cut the throttle. Why won't the throttle... Why is the throttle not cutting? Really? Oh, no. I can't... What a disaster. When was my last quick save? Oh, no. This is a disaster, guys. <laughs> Here we go, right. It's alright, we're here. Oh, look, my Delta V is correct now. That's nice. Right, we're going to do some more quick saves now. I think that's what we've learned. Okay, go. Quick save. And then decouple this. And then control from here. Where's control from here? There it is. <laughs> and then we'll activate this. Oh, I'm still throttled up. And then we're going to make another quick save now. And then we're just going to carry on. So at least we have a node to follow, so the ship won't spin out. Now, do I risk doing the time warp again? Yeah, I will. Let's just risk doing the time warp again. Let oh, the ship's spinning again! And I can't cut the throttle! Okay, lesson learned. We're just going to have to do this without time warp. I've done a time warpless mission to the Mun before. I'm no stranger to this. Okay. Let's go. But now we've loaded a quick save. Maybe it will work. You know what? I'm not even going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it for a biscuit. We're just going to go. Just going to manually hold this position on the uh, nav ball. Mun is set as my target. And we're just going to... We're just going to sit tight. And uh, quick save frequently. We're going to do another quick save right now, in fact. This is why I make a new save game for every mission I do. I think there was like one other mission on this save file that I did. That's, well, I guess that's why I've not got Jebediah by default here, but you know. Generally, I make new quick new low, new save games for every mission in KSP2, and this is why. So let's get a nice... Um, that looks about right, doesn't it? Got that nice horseshoe-shaped orbital line. And then we'll get a time warp. Let's watch, uh, let's watch the uh, Kerbin disappear. I'm going to have another sip of water. Ooh. Oh, we're going to do another quick save, actually, when we're in deep space. As we wait to arrive at the Mun's sphere of influence. I daren't warp any faster because I might overshoot and then necessitate another quick save quick load of which there's already been too many let's face it in this video and what is our periapsis 25 I think that's about right isn't it so we're going to drop out of time warp now just so I have enough time to make a maneuver plan hmm the map is out of fuel interesting I've never had that message before what Map out of fuel maneuver node. I guess we're not making a maneuver node, guys. So I'm just gonna have to burn retrograde when I'm at my periapsis. And you can see how eccentric the orbital pass is, which means it's not gonna take that much delta V to perform our circularization. So let's just time warp down and just do it. Probably wanna do it just before periapsis, right? 
Where is Parapsis? Uh, let's do it when we're 10 seconds away from Parapsis. So we have 15, 14, 13. Let's just make sure the ship is pointing in the right direction. Quick save as well, in fact. Right, let's go. Oh, hang on. Oh, I, I need to disable crossfeed, don't I? No, I've had crossfeed enabled. It's fine. We'll just pump fuel manually. It's okay. Gosh, I really hope this rocket works, guys. You know, I haven't really, te I haven't tested it. What you see, what you saw me build in this vehicle assembly building was pretty much Mark One of this. Uh, I just, I, I've built Munlanders before, so I kind of know by eyeballing that this is probably enough. Right, let's just go back to our resource manager because we've probably got. Okay, this tank is full. Epic. So now it's time. Well, we've got no Delta V readouts, so who knows if we can get back in all right, but let's just pretend we can. Let's transfer our crews. So we go on Kerbal Manager. And... Oh, Tim C. Cummins already in the Lambda Cam, so let's put uh, Ed free. Now, this is the moment of truth. Will the docking ports be broken? They were not epic. I mean, they've sort of separated a bit weird, haven't they? But the, the orbit looks all right. So we're going to press on. Now I want to land on the light side, which we're not going to be landing on the light side at this rate. So let's uh, let's just time warp around until we're landing on the light side. Because we want to start our landing burn like around here. Da, 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 ba, ba, da, ba, ba. Isn't this beautiful? Where should we go? I think the Mun Arch is somewhere around here, isn't it? If we see the Mun Arch, we'll land by the Mun Arch. But I'm not going to aim for it necessarily. Because I've already done two missions, would you believe it, to that Mun Arch. So I'm not... Oh my gosh, we got so much Delta V, guys. Uh, I did not have to be worried at all, I guess. Right. Where is our landing line? Let's just... There we go. Perfect. And then, like, since we've got uh, such a huge excess of Delta V, uh, we can basically just pick and choose our landing spot really easily. Watch me still spectacularly mess it up. Are we not on the light side yet? Oh, there's a blooming eclipse! Oh, what a disaster! I can't even see the ground... Oh, pause the game as well. That's helpful. So, um... Sort of landing on instruments a bit, really. So I guess we can't... Oh, is that the Mun Arch there? There's like a glowy thing. How high off the ground now? I can't... I can't really see. Where's... Come on, son! Come on! <laughs> Come on, son! Just gonna wait. I think if I crash... Oh, I should have quicksaved. It's fine. I'm gonna quick save now. Don't know. Don't really know how well this ship decelerates. To be fair, I can so I can see the ground below us. It's actually quite close. So this is probably gonna end in a disaster. I'm just gonna have to look at the numbers rather than look at the screen. <laughs> I think we're probably coming in a bit too fast. I might want to kill off a bit more vertical speed first. Whoops. Is there a vertical speed readout in KSP2? I don't actually know. I can't see one. Oh, no. I can't see anything. <laughs> this is really difficult. Um, okay, hang on. I'm, getting, I'm falling very quickly to the ground now. So let's burn vertical a bit. Decelerate there and then carry on. Killing our horizontal speed. I can see a big shadow looming ahead. But our surface velocity is pretty low. Look up! Oh! Darn it. I feel like... Can I quick save? I, I want to land on the light side, right? I want this to be actually fun and enjoyable for you guys. You can see what we're doing. So let's uh, go back to here. We'll do a little a couple of laps of the Mun. We're doing some research in low Mun orbit. That's what we're doing. Oh my goodness, this is going to take ages. <laughs> I hate forced time warp locks, you know. How many orbits of the moon is this going to take? I feel like it's only going to take it like on the next orbit we should be fine again. Let's just watch. Make another quick save. I'm going to have another bit of water. <laughs> How long has this mission been going on for now? 29 minutes. Okay, we're not going too badly actually. Right, it looks like the sun is now gone again. Just gonna, we'll decouple the ships 
ones like we can see. Okay, perfect. It's time for take two. Interactive. Where is my Kerbals? Where are my Kerbals, I should say. Where is my grandma? Wait, wrong way. There we go. Perfect. Quick save. Watch the decouplers no longer work now. Undock. <laughs> so dumb, I just like flings it away. Right. I saw a quote on Reddit today of some guy that um, has never played KSP1, only KSP2. And he was like, I've heard KSP1 is actually much better than KSP2. Um, should I get it? I've only been playing KSP2. And the comments were just, just like, KSP1 is basically the sequel to KSP2. <laughs> Which, you know, got to laugh at the irony there. Okay, let's let's perform this landing again. So, or, you know, I shouldn't say landing again. We didn't land the first time. That's right, guys. Professional KSP YouTuber right here. Struggles to do a mun landing. There's the mun arch around here, because that would be a cool place to land on. Don't really know when I started my landing burn last time, to be fair. Oh, I'm spinning. I'm spinning out of control. I'm just going to... Oh, there's the mun arch. It's probably a bit too far away. I don't want the mission to go on too long. But, you know, it's nice. It's a nice background feature. So now we're just going to... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ran out of uh, stamina in the middle of that sentence. I've actually started this burn, like, way too high, haven't I? I did not need to start the burn this early. Let's just do a quick save and time warp down a bit. Ba -ba -da -ba. I do like the look of the coloured pieces in this game. Okay, so now a good time to restart the burn, maybe? Might deploy my ladder, actually, as well. Where's that? You know, someone's doing it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is going beautifully. I have high hopes for this landing. Or, or do I? Looks like it might be a little bit close. No, actually, we're fine. We're fine. So guys, remember to, remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> the comments, this brilliant, very difficult, challenging mission. It's challenging for me. I'm a hopeless multitasker, like I said. Quick save. Just uh, do some danger. Time warping now. Just to try and keep the video nice and concise at the risk of crashing and then elongating the video. But hey, more ad money in it if it's longer. So really, <laughs> it's in my interest to crash more. Okay. So now we're just going to manually... I want to try and be under five meters per second for our touchdown. So there we are. Okay, under 10. Okay, we're under five now. This is the goal. Or oh, can I get exactly zero when we touch the ground? I'd say that's pretty close. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's get our Kerbals on EVA. And now for the moment of truth, guys. Do I get my custom flag? Flag. <laughs> or will it have just defaulted to the KSP logo? Seems a bit hit and miss. I find it's about 75% of the time the flag doesn't work. And the flag did not work. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine, I guess. There we go, get our other Kerbal out. And we can go for a little stroll along the moon. Perfect. Can we oh, take, a, take, a little, take a little photo? So can I get a camera down? Take a little photo. Turn off the UI. And then we'll take a little, little Windows screenshot right there. Perfect. Now let's waste no more time, because there's nothing else to do on the surface of the mud in this game. I can't wait for science. It's going to be great. <laughs> okay, and then... Uh, can I climb up? Oh, I've glitched to the bottom of the ladder. Perfect. And then get Tim C. I feel like the landing legs in this game, by default, aren't very strong. I think you need to bump up the spring strength when uh, using them. So uh, let's just do that now. <laughs> Risk... Blowing everything up. Where are the legs? Here we go. Uh, auto suspension. We want stronger springs. Stronger dampers. I guess that's better. <laughs> Where? Where's our mothership? Is it like here? Set as target. Go do another quick save. Uh, time up. Oh. Can I just focus on them? There we go. Oh. It's really hard to see. Hmm. Let's go to the tracking station. <laughs> okay. 
And then we'll just watch. And wait for the... Wait for our mothership. Our mothership is not moving, is it? It's static. Why is this? Well, it's not static. It's just moving. It's not got like a d dead orbit. That's weird. I'm getting nervous, guys. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Something isn't right. Something's wrong. I can feel it. <laughs> got no delta V either, apparently. Oh, something just glitched with them. Something just changed, didn't it? I don't know. It's fine. Our orbit is static. It's not decaying. Um, I'm trying to think where the good spot is to put the mothership for the moon. I guess because there's no, you know, atmosphere. It, our lander will be able to accelerate pretty quickly. Let's just, uh, let's go for that. Uh, make sure we don't press destroy. Set as target. Excellent. And it is along the 90 degree vector. Good. Cool. Quick save one more time. And then let's go. Basically point horizontal immediately. Not that far. <laughs> and retract those landing legs. Because landing legs in this game. I don't know if they're like mo ironed out most of the glitches. But I still have a bit of an association between deployed landing legs when you're not touched down. And causing landers to flip out of control. So let's uh, let's hope and pray. I'm just going to watch the uh, tilt. We want to tilt a bit more this way don't we? We want to get these two lines horizontal. There we go. Back to prograde. I think this is... I've got a good feeling about this. It's going to go well, I hope. I really hope. <laughs> I don't want to have to keep doing the rendezvous over and over again. I can't want this to be quick. Although we've got so much delta V. We don't need to have a really, really accurate rendezvous. But it just so happens, guys. What's our... So it's really tiny UI. We've got a separation of 500 meters or so. It's changing all the time, though. I feel like that's pretty good. Come on, guys. I'm pretty good sometimes. Sometimes, very occasionally, I am, in fact, good, decent at this game. So, we're going to set our... Blah, 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 what's it called? Velocity gauge thing to be relative to our target. We point retrograde, which means that when we burn in this direction, we're going to be killing off our speed relative to the mothership. And then we'll just wait for that close encounter, I guess. Ooh, why did the angle change again? It's fine. We can just uh, unpause, point retrograde, because I've not pointed retrograde anymore, it seems. And then go. Oh, the thrust rate ratio is not as good as I had hoped. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to get a close encounter too quickly, it seems. Oh, my God, I'm pointing. Why did that happen? <gasps> Are you joking? Did you guys see that? Did it just change the gauge automatically and I just didn't notice? That's terrible. That's, oh, no. Is there a quick load I can do? Do I risk it? That's annoying. Did I just accidentally click it? Or did the game just change the gauge? And I never noticed. It's no longer set as targets. That's good. And what, yeah. I did. I was surprised how, like, dis have the disparity between our... And maybe I'm just an idiot. And I'm going to watch that like a hawk in case it does it again. Oh, and our um, separation is no longer as good. This is a disaster. I oh, don't. No, it look up. Oh, up. Oh, I'm pointing at the screen with my finger, but look, it's gone back to orbit. That's weird. Right, let's just try and get these markers a bit closer. Then there we go. It's not as efficient now, but hey, 416. Good. Right, we're gonna point retrograde now. We're gonna change this to target. We're gonna quick save. And we're going to watch this. Stare at it. We're still pointing retrograde to target. So that's good. And there is our target. Excellent. Kill completely to like zero. 
And then, where's our closest separation? Oh, we can get that a bit closer, can't we, mate? Just by there, and then what's that? Distance. 16 meters. Perfect. So let's point retrograde to our target once again. Do another quick save, just for safety. I mean, there's an option to play this game without quick saves. I don't know why on earth you would choose to do that to yourself. <laughs> Even KSP1, like, it's still not really stable enough. Like, I think the only times I've had to use quick saves from in this mission was never because of my own incompetence. Actually, no, that's wrong. I did crash into the surface of the Mun. Bad planning on my part. I was landing in an eclipse and just couldn't see anything. So, uh... I feel like it's obviously on me, but I had reasonable excuse to mess that up. <laughs> At least, you know, that's what I'll tell myself when I'm crying myself to sleep later. Okay, so both are pointing towards it. We're going to do the loud and lazy method Just one more time. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Is it going to dock? Coming in very fast. Oh, we're spinning. But with a bit of time warp magic, it was all fine. So now let's get our Kerbals back on board. So we want them in the Gumball. Reunited with Valentina. And then let's do our Methalox management. So resource manager, Methalox. We want to get that tank, that tank. There we go. Which one's the big one? 16, I guess. That's the bigger number, right? In, in. Out, out, start. Perfect. So now we can deactivate this engine. And activate this one. Oh, activate this one. Don't know what our Delta V is. Let's hope it's enough. <laughs> so uh, just do another quick save. And then we're going to burn our way back home. I haven't had that. Oh, yeah, we're out of <laughs> can't make maneuver nodes, apparently. Why is that? We've got a pilot Kerbal on board, right, Valentina? Our periapsis is quite low. We're not going to hit the ground, are we? Nah, we're fine. So where are we? We're gonna, we want to burn prograde sort of like here. Good enough. <laughs> uh, oh, make sure I'm pointing the... from. I did press control from here, didn't I? But I'm just going to... Well, we'll know in a second, won't we? No, we're not controlling from the right direction. Control from here. There we go. Let's try that one more time. <laughs> now we're on a collision course. I mean, I could ditch the lander now, couldn't I? But it'd be nice to bring the lander back with us. Just the Kerbals have got a bit more space to move around the spacecraft on their journey home. Again, I'm not going to time warp after the shenanigans of the getting to the Mun. I just want to get home at this point. So there goes our orbital line. Gonna watch our periapsis. Very small, I'm sorry, I play at 4K, so like the UI is pretty small, unfortunately. Uh you know what, it's fine. We'll do it when we're in Kerman orbit. <laughs> we'll do it later. How much fuel have we got? I have literally got no idea how much fuel we've got. Oh no, it's up there, isn't it? No, that's Do we not have a fuel gauge in this game? I've just realized. I don't actually know. I guess I can go on oh no, it's here. No, it's just monopellent electricity. Is there not supposed to be fuel there? Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Oop. Right, let's burn retrograde. Hopefully, uh, the orientation is still okay. That's prograde game. Here we go. On final approach to Kerbim. Drop our perhaps is nice and low now. We're just gonna go home. Hopefully, I've got enough fuel to do any. This is quite inefficient burning like this, but it's fine. Sure, there's no re-entry heating, so we can just come in at a stupid angle. <laughs> and there we go. I'm just going to spam stage, get everything separated. Oh my goodness, we need to separate these as well, don't we? Undock. I'm going to switch. I want to control that vessel. Uh, could, um, there we are. <laughs> Almost a disaster there. Perfect. I this ship just completely obliterated. And the parachutes are armed. So that's good. Do another quick save just in case. And uh, yeah, this mission is coming up to a wrap. Oh, the parachutes are deployed. Excellent. 
Oh, bit sketchy for a second, but we were okay. And we're splashing down. All realistic and all that. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, diversion. Like I said, it's basically, it was either this or no KSP video at all today, unfortunately. Um, I saw, like, because I said I kind of, like, saw comments and things recently about kind of what goes into these videos. How many quick saves does Matt actually do? How many iterations of the craft does he actually go through? Obviously, this was a fairly easy mission. I've done a billion Mun landings at this point, so I kind of know how to design a Mun rocket without really needing to trial it loads of times. So maybe this wasn't a great example. If, for example, I was going to do an EVE mission, I'll do lots of tests, but then the mission, the video would be like five hours long, and who's got time for that? Uh, yeah, but yeah, people are like asking, you know, how, what goes into it? Does Matt get lots of glitches still? Hope this answers all of those questions. And uh, yeah, th I saw a lot of other comments as well asking if, I, if I'm under some sort of contract to make KSP2 videos, and uh, the answer to that is no. Uh, I wouldn't sign such a contract unless I was going to get paid lots and lots of money uh, so take two if you're watching this for a million pounds a year i will happily upload a ksp video once a week uh, but until that happens guys that's uh that's never gonna happen so it's a good thing i've got the support of my patreons and youtube channel members who if i've edited this right will now be scrolling on the left of the screen it's their generous support that makes all of this content possible and uh that's the end of this mission i hope again you found it interesting i'm gonna quick save it again actually even though the mission's done just gonna keep rambling now until i hit that kind of 20 second mark for the outro screen because i don't really know how long it's gonna take because i'm doing this live but i can't imagine it's gonna be that much longer so uh, thanks for watching again i guess like the videos subscribe and 